So I got this thing cleaned off. I use a putty knife to scrape off the dry stuff and then after that and I use the pressure washer which is over there and then I just clean the whole thing top and bottom and now I'm going to just leave it out in the sun, let it dry. When this side dries then I'll flip it over and then it'll dry the other side. We're going to be using this product here on the deck to try to remove the rust. So this is going to be crud cutter. So two hours has passed and we can see that right in here it has taken out a lot of this rust. And you can see that it's taken a lot over here, all around there. And this has only been two hours. So I've come back, I kind of drenched it again, and so now I'm thinking that maybe I'm just going to give this several hours, maybe even let it just go overnight. And so we're going to look at it tomorrow, and we'll see what we, uh, see how to look. It's been a few days since I put on the rust uh, removal, and what it does is it is leaves a white powder. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to buff all this off. But the most important thing is that I've got some rot out here. And so I'm, my thought is, is that I'm going to put a steel plate on here. Uh, this measures about 110 thousandths thick. I have a 1 8 inch thick plate. So my idea is I'm going to clamp this here and I'm going to mark it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up with a torch and then I'm going to try to form this around here to follow this here contour. And then I'll come back and then I'll mark it. Then I'll cut it out with a grinder. And then I'll try to go ahead and I'll, I'll weld that plate back in. Okay, so that looks pretty good. This is the 1 8 inch piece of metal I was talking about, so I got it clamped in place. And of course, I want it to follow the contour, so I heated this up and I just tapped it over so to match the contour of the, uh, the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cool and then we'll go to a next step. Alright, so I got that marked out. So I'm going to take this here plate off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a grinder and I'm going to grind that out where I marked it out. <coughs> Alright, so we got it cut out. I'm going to do a trial fit. See how we're looking. Now it looks pretty good across the top. But I need a little bit more taken off of the bottom so this can fit inside. So I'm going to take off about uh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Alright, yeah, the plate's in there pretty good. And right now it's fitting uh, flush. So everywhere around here looks pretty good as far as being flush. Now all we got to do is I'm going to tack weld it. And then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to finish up the welding on this. Okay, the patch is in. I had a little problem holding it and clamping it because it wanted to move and, and you know trying to keep everything flush so what I decided to do is I got some high strength JB well and I put a little bit in and I had some tape duct tape behind behind the back here and that would hold it in place and then when I put it in the patch then I put a little bit of JB well in let it set for two days then I came back and then I tack welded it to kind of hold it in place and uh, so it's holding up pretty good and uh, it is flush across the top, the sides and the bottom. So that looks pretty good. You notice that there is a washer. So the washer will go here and then it will go to the third hole up. Okay, this area also was rotted out and uh, I forgot to film it to show what it looked like but there was, a, uh, I had a little bit of a video where I was taking the scalp wheels off and I'll try to put that up show what it looked like. Uh, this part right in here was rotted out. Here's a picture of it. So I went ahead and I cut that piece out and as you can see it is curved. So I got a piece of metal, I heated it up, formed the curve and also this area down here was rotted out. Now here's a picture of it. So you can see over there on the right hand side, it is pretty much rotted out. It went about three-fourths of the way and it was broken loose from the other side. And so I just took and uh, 
it was welded on so I just ground it off and I made a template from this and so what I did is I made a template and then I traced around it a piece of wood to make my template and then I used a cutting torch to use the wood here as a guide to follow around it and again, you know just with a little bit of grinding and all so that's where we're at right now on that so that's uh, looking pretty good all right so after all my patches and uh, holes are filled up uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna buff this thing down you know get all the loose scale off of the paint and everything uh, what a little bit of rust is lefting and then I'm gonna come back then I'm gonna prime it and then I'm gonna spray paint it 